Free agency day two here, Chiefs Kingdom, and we are alive here on the Chiefs Report. Talking about the latest moves made around the NFL and with Kansas City as they get a couple moves done, but hey, Chris Jones is the big signing, and that's all I really needed. I think that the Chiefs alone, with that signing, bang, you're good. So shout out your city. I want to see who's in with us today. It's going to be a fun time to just talk about all that's happened around the NFL. I see Tony's hanging out with us, and Lewis is hanging out with us. Appreciate both y'all being here, hanging out with us. We're going to talk about a bunch of different moves that come through. And obviously, if something happens while we're live, guess what? Live reaction. Live reaction. So, it's a good time to be here. Shout out your city. What y'all going on here? Tony Fuentes from El Paso. Paul Amos from Tonganoxy, Kansas. Let's break it down, man. Lewis from Mexico, Missouri. Tony Fuentes from El Paso. Judas Finest from Michigan. Couple of fire emojis. I like it, man. I like it. I appreciate it. We appreciate you hanging out with us. I know that there was one signing we made today. Had a video already on it. Irv Smith Jr. I want y'all to grade the signing of Irv. See what's happening going on there. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know. Panda Gaming says Denver from Denver. Bali Mohammed from Az Asbury Park, New Jersey. Took me a second there. SML Texting Stories from Spring Valley. Jim Tanner gives it a C. Tony Fuentes saying B. Panda Gaming saying B. Angelica saying B. Lewis saying F. Lewis, I have the question. Does anything make you excited or happy? I see your comments on my tweets, man. I, I feel like you hate life. And I'm here to try and make it better, but I don't know what to do. Panda Gaming says C. Like if you hate life, that's fine. But like I, I don't, I, I don't know. Irv Smith Jr. sucks at blocking. Well, good thing he's not there to block. That's 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 good. He's gonna be a receiving tight end, guys. So, don't know if you uh, you caught that, but Chiefs don't really sign blocking tight ends. Judas Fine is saying C plus. Paul Amo spamming the beast. I love it. I love it. And he has major butterfingers in traffic. Bro, I will send you a highlight right now and show you an amazing catch. We also have Travis Kelsey, bro. Like, what? I don't know what you want. I'm sorry the Chiefs didn't trade for Justin Jefferson, man. I don't know. Give me an NFL free agent you would let the Chiefs to sign. Is there somebody left? Blake Bell was a blocking tight end. Correct. They didn't sign him. They got him out of college. Also... It doesn't really matter. He never played. <laughs> Jim Tanner from Marquis. Marquis Brown from Jim Tanner. I like it. K-Man and Sadie saying Calvin Ridley. Also, Tony using hashtag Chiefs. I like that. You got any questions? Use hashtag Chiefs. Going to talk some questions here later. Lewis Cutper says, Chiefs won't sign anyone special. Maybe re-sign Hardman and re-sign MVS the best. They're not going to re-sign Marquis about us, I will tell you that right now. Uh, I think right now Curtis Samuel seems like a pretty good fit with Kansas City. And even if they don't, they're going to draft Xavier Worthy at pick 32 or Adonai Mitchell or Troy Franklin. Like, they're going to be fine. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. John Coy says Samuel and Brown. I like those two. Calvin Ridley is being signed by the Patriots. I don't think that they – I don't want Calvin Ridley, to be honest. Like, I know he was great. Derek Curry signed with the Ravens. Cool. They're still not going to beat us. Come on, you got to think positive here, man. You got to think positive. Yeah. Marquise Brown is a good one. I like Curtis Samuel. I love Curtis Samuel. I think that's the best one. They're shooting for a worse wide receiver room. What's worse than last year? We dropped 44 passes. Lewis, Ravens has, Ravens has a lot of weapons. Oh, the Chiefs offense is getting worse like always. Please tell me how the Chiefs' offense got worse. And even then, the Ravens still lost to us last year. Like, there you go. Tony's got the positive. We're Super Bowl champs. We're crying out. Exactly. Come on. Get positive. Like, everybody's complaining. I'm just like, bro, it doesn't matter. Rice, Kelsey, and Mahomes can't do it all. They just did. They just did. We watched them do it. They can do it again. Plus, they're not going to have just them. They're signing Xavier Worthy. Or it's a drafting, whatever. Golly, guys. I understand. Like, I get it. But, like, 
We didn't, we didn't lose to anybody this year at the postseason. The offense is a majorly one-dimensional. The defense will figure it out. The Chiefs will be lucky to be 9-8. and eight. Bro, if the Chiefs are 9-8, and eight, I might jump off a building. I will bet you a billion dollars they won't be 9-8. and eight. And even if they are, guess what? They're still going to win the division. And then when playoffs come around, it doesn't matter. Patrick Mahomes turns on a different switch. There you go. Mohammed saying, yeah, they did, and they will do it again. I like that confidence. I like that confidence. Panda Gaming, y'all got to have some faith in our damn team, bro. Let's go. Let's go. I'm tired of it. Doubters hating us. People freaking, you're a Chiefs fan. Stop doubting. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's grade Bre <laughs> So far, let's grade Brett Veach's free agency moves he's made. Obviously, only two. But, hey, actually, that's three. They, he re-signed Chris Jones. That counts. I have no faith in this team, and I've been a Chiefs fan since 1982. Cool. When they win the Super Bowl next year, I don't want to hear anything. You aren't then, then cool. Here's the thing. I'm a Boston Red Sox fan, and I do not care. Like, literally, they suck, but I still believe in them. I still think they're going to win. Still support them. Chiefs won't even sniff the playoffs next year. You're trolling now, man. You've got to be trolling. Uh, a for Chris Jones. I like it, Panda Gang. Mohammed saying B. SML texting story saying A. Jim Tanner saying C minus. Chase, we got this, bro. I know. We got it. Hater. Hater. F at best. Well, what's worse than F? Tony saying y'all not real KC fans. Yeah. If this past year didn't prove anything, if you have Mahomes and Kelsey and Reed, you automatically have a shot. Last time I checked, Mahomes is still under contract. So is Kelsey. And Andy Reed is in the still coach. Oh, get throat. I like that. Trade sneak for Higgins. I would love to like that. I, I would love that. I got to be honest. You have McDuffie? You have McDuffie? Yeah, that's true. Hey, uh, get... Get three zero OKE. I don't know how I'm supposed to say that, but use hashtag Chiefs and ask that same question. We can put you on the show later. That's a good. That's a good question. We're gonna have some mailbag questions later. So hashtag Chiefs, and then put a question. We'll talk about it later. So I want to say the Chiefs sign Hollywood Brown and Justin Simmons. I like it, Stavone. or Stephen. I like that. Lewis says I've been a KC fan. Most of you all wasn't even Chiefs fans until they decided to draft a home. What does that have to do with anything, though? Like, I, I still don't understand the no, the no confidence. Like, you realize that Patrick Mahomes has been to basically every Super Bowl since he's been in the league. You realize that, right? He lost, he's lost to two people in the postseason. One of them is Tom Brady. The other one was Joe Burrow. And it, had to, it took overtime for both those games. Like, you realize that, right? We will still win when Travis retires becomes the Holmes is the best QB in investor. I agree, K-Man and Sadie. I agree. Like, I still think, like, obviously when Travis retires, it's going to stink. The Chiefs are still going to be good. It's still going to be good. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Oh, man. By the way, hit that like button, guys. We got 60 people watching, only 11 likes. And there's some people here in the YouTube realm Let's say if we don't have a 50% like ratio, they're not going to recommend our stream to other Chiefs fans. So hit that like button right now. We got seven people watching. Let's get 35 likes. We got 12 right now. That means if just 23 of y'all hit it, bang, we're right there 50% and we're going to get more people. Trades need for Kool Aid, for a Kool Aid pick. I love that too. I'd love Kool Aid McKinstry. Yeah, you use hashtag Chiefs, bro. You got some good questions. Get three, zero, okay. I don't know. Get Throke? I don't know how to. Get throat. I don't know. Bro, you got some good questions, man. Use hashtag Chiefs in front of them because our little system thingy, we can't put it on the like, on the show unless you use hashtag. Here, push that one. Bang, there we go. Hashtag Chiefs. There you go. If you use hashtag Chiefs, I can literally put it on the show. In fact, I know Tony has. Do you want to like show him what it looks like? Like just throw up one of Tony's just to show him? Like, because we got some, we're going to answer some questions later. By the way, 78 people watching, hit the like button. We need that 50% like ratio. Came in and said, OBJ would be a nice one. Oh, okay, yeah. So here's what it will look like. Tony, 
a staple here, always gets a question in. Bang, hashtag Chiefs. We got Tony, got his name, got his profile photo. It could be you. Just use hashtag Chiefs. We just need that little hashtag Chiefs. Why over there? You use hashtag Chiefs. Bang, you're going to get yourself on the show. You could also super chat. We appreciate that. We have a new raffle. I, um, I forgot it. I'll get it in a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you think Mahomes' contract will be renegotiated before tomorrow? I think it has to. From what I'm hearing, you have to have you have to be under the teller cap by Wednesday, which is tomorrow, which the Chiefs are now negative five right now. Now that doesn't mean they have to like restructure it before they sign, but still. By the way, we, well, let me go get that new raffle. I literally just straight forgot about it. By the way, Jan, if you're watching, you were the winner of our um, February raffle. So. Our raffle item this month is, oh, that's what it was. Hey, uh, hey, hey you want to put the, you want to make this a picture of me? I will send it to you. Yeah, okay, so get, I, I, I got to tell me how, you, how I put your name. You also had another question about trading. Oh, oh, you know, he, he put both of them in there. He, he, because he, he had trades, neighbor Higgins, or pick for Kool-Aid. Yeah, we can. He combined them. I like that. I like it. In fact, throw it up there. Right, can, can you can do that before you make that? We'll talk about that for a little bit right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this question. I really, really want the Chiefs to trade Snead for Higgins, because like you're gonna have to restructure Mahomes' contract anyway. That's already like you, you you got that. Like that that has to happen. So yeah, yeah, you're right. Um. See, is there any more signings? All right, 49ers have signed a defensive tackle. Uh, Jordan Elliott, Browns defensive tackle on a two-year $10 million deal. That's the latest move we've got. We'll talk about the latest moves all around the NFL throughout the show, but that's the latest one now as it looks like Niners improving their defensive line after losing Arik Armstead, Arik Armstead. All right, I like this, I like this question because Snead for Higgins seems like a pretty fair trade. I do think that the... I think the Bengals want a little bit more than just Snead, though. So what I would say is probably trade Snead and a second rounder for Higgins. Or here's what you do. You trade Snead to the Rams for their second round pick. And then you combine your first round pick, the th pick 32, and pick 64, your second round pick, to move up to 20 or 22. You get Kool-Aid McKinstry there. And then at pick 52, which you get from the trade of Snead, with the Rams, you then pick uh, a right wide receiver there. You can get probably Devontae Walker still. Pretty good, pretty good option. Brent Rice. Uh, there's a chance that a 80 falls or Xavier falls there. So, should the Chiefs sign Trent Brown? No, because they're looking for more of a left tackle. And I, I believe I believe Brown is more of a, uh, I forget. He's not a left tackle. I forget his position now. Trent Brown, is he a left tackle? He's not a left tackle, right? An offensive tackle. Yeah, well, he, he's a, he's a. I think he's a right tackle. Uh, position. Mixon was just a seventh round pick on the trade. Um, he has a left. Oh, he okay. Okay, so he has he had he started mostly at right tackle, but he also started at left tackle. So so he's done both. So that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I agree. I do think we draft two to three wide receivers because, like, this is a really good wide receiver draft. Like, here's my dream scenario. You trade Snead for the second round pick. If you want to get a quarterback at round one, fine. But if you don't, stay at 32, pick AD or Xavier Worthy, and then with pick 51, you could potentially get Ennis Rakestraw Jr. still if he's still there. And then you get pick 64. You can get another wide receiver, uh, potentially Dontez Walker. Fill out your defensive line from picks uh, in the third, fourth, and fifth round. And the sixth round, Luke McCaffrey. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. We're going to do some more mock drafts, by the way, as soon as free agency is cooled down a little bit just because that's going to be an important thing to talk about just as we – go into what the Chiefs draft strategy would be. Obviously, given they signed Eric Smith Jr., I doubt we're going to find any more of the... I um, doubt we're going to be drafting a tight end now. 
Here's our raffle for the month of March. Yeah, $5 raffle for three times Super Bowl champions, Kelsey and Mahomes. $5 raffle entry. It's, it's, it's nice. It is nice. It is nice. Yeah, I, I want it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because they have the Super Bowl logo from uh, Arizona beating the Eagles. They've got the one beating the Buccaneers on the far side, and then obviously the Vegas one right in the middle. That's a sick photo, though. It's sick. $5. Oh, yeah. $5 raffle entry. $5 raffle entry. By the way, I appreciate y'all using hashtag Chiefs. Lennon! What's up, man? Haven't seen you on here in a while. That'd be wild. What's up, man? $5 Super Chat gets you into the raffle here for our Champions Raffle. Well, I don't know what to call it. A little Super Bowl Champions uh, frame photo, I guess would be the best thing. Yeah, frame poster. Whatever you want to call it. Appreciate all you using the questions. Uh, Lewis, I think you have to assume that they think Sneed is the solution for Higgins anyway. I think that's true. I mean, here's the thing. Sneed, you could trade him for Higgins for the simple fact of Higgins may sit out if you don't trade him. You're going to get a top-tier cornerback right away. Hey, no worries, Lennon. I know it's a busy time. I know it's a busy time. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Appreciate y'all. Uh, do you think we pick up Calvin Ridley so we figure out where the cap is after Jones? Yep. So the cap space after Jones is negative $5 million, or around that area. Um, I think that right now, Calvin Ridley seems like the outside chance. The more likely scenario is Curtis Samuel and uh, Marquise Brown. Those are the two that I would see the Chiefs sign. Lennon, congratulations. Where are you graduating from, man? Where are you graduating? Came in and said he says trade Sneed for Broncos pick and, a good, and get a good player. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I, I, I just don't know if he's worth a top 15 pick. I think he's worth a first round pick in my opinion, but I think it's probably lower, lower level first round pick. Uh, Matsuyama, they have not signed anybody else. Let's go through the try signings they do have, though. We have every, everything they've done up until this point. So Drew Tranquil was the first deal they got, which is, I don't realize, I don't think people realize this. This is a huge deal. Drew Tranquil with the Chiefs for the next three years, $19 million, 13 million of it in the first two years. So, I mean, in theory, this is a two-year two -year deal. If you want to cut them, cool, whatever. Chris Jones, five years, a absolute mammoth deal for him, $158.75 million. Uh, 101 of it actually is guaranteed. It was originally reported to be 95. Uh, and then James Winchester, a long snapper, re-signed with the Chiefs uh, yesterday. One year, $1.37 million deal. And the first outside move happened earlier today. Have a video on it if you want to go check it out. We'll talk more about it here on the show as well. Irv Smith, the tight end uh, from actually Cincinnati. Uh, played at Minnesota prior, so that's where his little purple jersey comes from. One year, $1.3 million is his deal. We also had one more after that. Deion Bush is re-signing with the Kansas City Chiefs. Don't have the money on that just yet. Would have to think, though, that this is the safety that they were trying to get for the depth piece. Um, don't know what exactly their plan is past this. Honestly, they expect Brian Cook to be back, it sounds like. They're going to have Shamari Connor. Uh, they have Justin Reed locked in. I think this was the safety. It's like, all right, that's our depth piece. We can draft somebody if we really think we need a safety. Irv Smith, though, I want to talk about him for a little bit because I think it's a really good deal. One year, $1.3 million. And Irv, well, I think he's underrated. Torres meniscus back in 2020, but that year alone, not even playing the full season, guess what? He had 500 yards, five touchdowns. It was pretty dang freaking good. Or excuse me, 300 yards, five touchdowns. Now, this past year, only 115 yards, but again, he wasn't like the top-tier target in Cincinnati, and they had Jake Browning as his QB for half the year. I think he's got a lot of potential. I don't know what to expect from him. I think that we could potentially use him in a multiple different ways. He's definitely a receiving back, but at the same time, I think his body is built to be a blocking tight end as well. Obviously, he never really did that, and that's not what the Chiefs are getting out of him, but I think that they could potentially teach him that. We know that the Chiefs tight end room has Travis Kelsey, and guess what? I don't know about you, I think he's pretty good. So I think this is one of those, we're going to sign him, we're going to work on him, we're going to build him up. So I think this is a pretty, pretty good thing. So, Plus, we don't know what's going to happen with Noah Gray. There's been reports of him retiring all of a sudden. It's just rumors. Homeboy's only 24, though, which is kind of weird. But it's a nice time remember there. Travis Kelsey, Irv Smith, and Noah Gray. Uh, Kelsey, obviously, rising in age. So we'll have to kind of see, see that. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there. But, uh, yeah, it's it's... 
it's all an interesting thing. I want you to grade this on A, B, C, D, or F, and then we'll start kind of going through the chat here, answering some questions, and uh, kind of talking with you all through there, just doing a little bit of that. We'll also go through the latest in the NFL and kind of talking you down of other deals that have happened and all that stuff. But I want, I want to grade for Irv Smith here. We got B's from Tony Fuentes. I know we had this earlier, but I know, uh, guess what? We have some more people in here. We got almost 100 people watching. By the way, if you're watching, you haven't hit the like button yet, do the show right now. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. I know it could mess up, the, mess up your algorithm. I promise you. If you like it, helps us. That's all it does. Helps us. And hey, if you do like it, maybe you'll get some more recommendations for some of our videos. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. We have almost 100 people watching. If we can get 50 likes, that means YouTube, they're going to recommend this to more people. How about you? I don't know about you. I want more people in this party. It's a Tuesday party. Tuesday party. It's nice. By the way, we have Tuesday parties every week. So if you hit that like button and then you subscribe, you're going to be part of every Tuesday party. Tony Fuentes saying, not the best, but I'm happy. I like it. Lewis saying F, because this dude does not know how to, how to be positive. Uh, Panda Gaming. Lewis, I want to ask you a question. And feel free not to answer. I, I'm not, I don't want to pressure you at all. How old are you? I, I, I do have, I, I'm curious to that. Well, he's been a fan since 1960, uh, 1992. So, like, I'm kind of curious. Feel free to not answer. I'm not, I don't want to pressure you at all. But I, I'm, I'm just curious. Richard P says C, came in and said he says B. I think B is a good answer. I'd, I'd say B minus. Not going not gonna to blow you out of the water. But it was a good signing. You get your tight end room, and now you're not drafting a tight end. So. Oh, yeah. Well, Irv Smith, he's like 6'2", 220 or something like that. Like, dude's big. Oh, we have the player bio of him. Can you pop that up there? That'd be awesome. Came in and said, Daniil Hunter would be sick. He'd be too much money. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there we go. 6'2", 240. 30 reception, 365 in 2020. Dude's good. Dude's good. Bones Jones. Henry of the Ravens is scary, plus the Steelers are making great moves. Correct. I agree with both those statements. Problem is, the Steelers don't have a quarterback, and the Ravens choke in the playoffs, no matter who they have. And unfortunately, Derrick Henry has not had too much experience in the playoffs. So, I like the move, though. Definitely, Ravens are the most scary team to me in terms of competition for the Kansas City Chiefs in 2024. Uh, I guess Lewis didn't want to answer my question. That's fine, Lewis. I'm not, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to force you. I'm just curious. We don't know if he has soft hands or blocks for hands. Ah, uh, he's got some soft hands. I wish I could show you. There's a highlight of him on a fade ball from Joe Burrow. Literally right here. Grabs it, falls down. Great. Tony, I wish I could, but unfortunately, he is busy with Bears stuff. And the Bears are, well, we know their situation this year. They got a lot of stuff going on. Justin Fields is crazy. Lewis, I, I just asked how old you were. I just asked how old you were. But feel free. Again, do, you don't have to answer. I was just kind of curious. I know you've been a fan since 1992, you said? 1992? I love Sneed and Jones, but I think Sneed's stats are the way that they're, are the way they're, they are because of Chris Jones getting in the quarterback. I agree. I 100% agree. Like, Sneed is great. But you have to think about this for, like, we know who was really helping the defense. It was Chris Jones. It was Chris Jones. So, anyways. I see Tony's asking for a beer, too. They don't have beer, but I got Coke. No, it's not the Coke you're thinking of. M. Hines says, I'm kind of curious, but can the Chiefs sign Marquise Brown? Yes, they can. That's one of the guys they're looking at. The two, they were looking at three wide receivers this morning. Three wide receivers were the Chiefs that were the Chiefs were looking at. They were looking at Marquise Brown, Darnell Mooney, who is now signed with the Falcons, and Curtis Samuel. So two are still on the board. Two. Two, two are still on the board. Two are still on the board, um, but we do not have the not have the details on what exactly they're trying to go here. So I'll have to figure it out. But I love Irv Smith. I think it's a really good signing. I think it's a, a mid-level signing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If this is true and Brett Beats hits on that Irv Smith, Irv Smith signing, I think he become, like he's already a mastermind. You think about the drafts he's had. Leo Chanel. He's gotten Isaiah Pacheco out of the draft. Like He's been great. Lewis says, I'm 44 years old. So I've been watching them since I was two years old. My mom was watching the Chiefs and I've been a fan ever since. Even through Todd Blackledge. Wow, man. All right. Hey, I, 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 that's great. That's great. 
I do understand then your 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 distrust because I know that the Chiefs were always decent for a while, but never did anything. But correct one. But but here's the thing. Patrick Mahomes has arrived. He is here, and this dude does not want to lose. <laughs> and I will say this. I will say this. Given the contract they gave to Chris Jones next year, I may say something different. I may think that it'll be hard for them to win because they're not going to have too much money. But this year, nah. Brett Veach said, I'm going 3 P or bust. Chris Jones is getting paid. His cap hit this year is $7.35 million. That's insane. It's just, it's wild. You think there's any chance Worthy falls to us? I 100% think. I think he's picked 32. I think he's picked 32. I don't because, like, here's the thing. Speed only gets you so far, but the Chiefs love speed. Now, I will say, I would personally rather Eddie Mitchell. I like Adonai. I would. I would. I, I'm not going to not like Worthy, but I've heard attitude issues. I think Eddie's is the better receiver. And overall, I think Eddie has the less – he's less of a risk. I also think that – I think Xavier Eddie, Worthy may have a higher upside. Yeah. But I think, but I think AD is like the the like the stronger suited one. That and also he doesn't have drop issues like concentration drop issues that Worthy had. He did improve that from two years ago to last year at Texas. But I do think Adonai is better in the end zone. He had 11 receiving touchdowns uh, versus I think Worthy who had like five. Yeah, so it's like, do you want a guy who is a burner or do you want a guy who can get contested catches in the end zone by jumping up and mossing everyone? Yeah, I mean, sure. We, we got the Texas man himself, Tex, in here. Oh, yeah. Talking about like no doubt. two Texas wide receivers. Two so. very good Sunday players at wide receiver, but I'm with you. I think AD would be a better fit. But I did see it. Knowing I, Brett Beach, he's I saw something work. funny, a, a mock draft. Uh, uh, so we know how the Chiefs love some Texas players, just oh, Texas yeah. in general, not oh, just yeah. university, it's like the, the, the state. Yes. Patrick Mahomes, Texas Tech guy. Well, she Rice, Rice, SMU guy. SMU. Charles Amenehu, Te- Texas guy. Yes. Keandre Coburn. I know he's not with the team anymore, but they drafted the te- him. Te- Texas, Texas guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. I saw a draft. They got Sanders. Um, pick 32, Xavier Worthy. <laughs> pick 64, Jatavion Sanders. Oh, that would pick be insane. 90, whatever, 100, or whatever. Devondre Sweat. He fell. Yeah, I think people have concern about his size. I mean, they, they kind of did do him a little bit dirty at Texas, not getting his weight under better control there. Well, and here's the the, that's the exact thing. is like the, te- the Kansas City Chiefs could just become the Kansas City Longhorns. <laughs> 80, yeah. and that's, 80 and mature is if you're worthy. Then you get – Tamal- good players, man. Then you get uh, – obviously, it's not going to have any more since they signed Irv Smith, but uh, you, you then get the Texas tight end at uh, – Jatavion Sanders. Jatavion, Jatavion oh Sanders. God, and they get Tavondre in the, in the third, fourth round. He will be a sneaky good second round pick. Bro, he's going to. No, I, I think watching he's going to. Watching Tav- um, um, Jatavion, Jatavion Sanders. Sanders in the Big 12 Championship. Dude, he was so that good. He's a dog. He's a dog. Like, he's going to be so good. He's a grown man. Like, I'm curious to see how he translates to the NFL because there's a lot of stuff that he did in college that I don't think will translate the greatest to the yeah. NFL. But I still think he's got the intangibles. He has the athleticism, no doubt. And I think he's got good hands. And he's just really physical. Animatronic, stop by from Chase Senior Stream. What's up, man? And funny enough, questions? Chugs actually uh, like covered him in high school at Denton. Oh Ryan. yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and he well, knows. Well, there's one guy. Uh, I love Isaiah Pacheco. Not gonna be, not gonna be sitting here. If the Chiefs have pick 32 next year, and Ollie Gordon is on the board, I would like Ollie Gordon on the Chiefs. That that is uh, correct, which is why he won't be on the board 32. Uh, he said, uh, "Get stroke." Okay, can I say this right? Get three oak. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if that, can. Can your next, can your next hashtag choose be how how to say your name, man? Get woke. Oh, I see. Flip the three or the e. I don't know. I feel there's a chance we could get both if we, if we get Sneed for a good. Oh, trade. The Titans really want Legarius Sneed. Give the Titans Sneed for their second round pick. That's pick 38. You get AD at 32. Xavier drops to 38. <laughs> GM Jace, my mind is running. Trade Sneed to the Titans. Pick 32, pick 38. Combo those pick. Get into the top 10. Malik Neighbors, Romo Dunze. You still have pick 64? Doesn't matter, you still have a second round pick. 
You don't have a quarterback, but that's fine. You can sign a quarterback. Do you think there's any chance at all that AD and Xavier go in the first round? I think it's a pretty good shot. My thing is, if AD, the Chiefs are getting AD or Xavier. That's kind of my yeah, thought process. The Unless two. they trade Snead, I could see Ennis Rakestraw Jr. Yeah. The quarterback from Missouri. From Missouri yeah. Talk with the Chiefs. Seemed like they liked him a lot. They also like Darius Robinson from Missouri. They're really sticking in like this like central zone of Missouri and Texas, that which is, is kind of funny. They talked to they did talk to Troy Franklin at the mm-hmm. combine, the, uh, the Oregon, Oregon, wide Oregon wide receiver. Yep, yep. Talked to uh, Talisi Fuga. I don't know why or, they talked to him though, because like he's the Oregon State offensive lineman who's going to go top fifteen. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I will say if Brett Veach decides, oh yeah, we're going to trade Snead for the Titans second round pick and then combo those two picks to then go up to the top fifteen and then draft Talisi Fuga. That would be nice. I would blow up though. We wouldn't have wide receiver. <laughs> you wouldn't have wide receiver. You wouldn't. That would be the only downside. I, I want wide receivers. Yeah. Uh, Ethan Bennington, hashtag Chiefs. Any updates on Snead? The update we have, I should have sent you this tweet. Oh, well, it's fine. I saw something. <laughs> the Titans are really in on Legereus Snead. So that they're very hot on him. And they have a ton of money, too. They have a ton of money. They have a ton of money. I will say, why don't you throw up the L3 here? Follow me on Twitter, because if something happens, when something happens, I post it right there automatically. So if you want to know right away... You can follow me there at Jace Andrews underscore. Uh, I've got text working on that right now to have a visual for you, but there it is. At Jace Andrews underscore. Follow me there. Um, I'm putting out a bunch of amazing stuff. Uh, get the rope saying, no, I was saying if we could just get a, get a two and a five or something for Snead, we could get both text receivers. Yeah, d- I d- definitely. I think that's definitely fine. Yeah, getting. Rasheed Rice, Adonai Mitchell, Xavier Worthy, uh, Kadarius Tony, Justin Watson. Who says no? Who says no? I don't. You can only choose one. Calvin Ridley, Curtis Samuel, or Marquise Brown. Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel. I think he fits well with the Chiefs. I love Marquise Brown, but here's the thing. If you're going to draft Xavier Worthy, that's Marquise Brown. Like Marquise Brown has speed. Xavier Worthy has speed. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Well, I, I still think Marquis has some stuff in him, but I think he needs to be in the right system. And Kyler Murray being his quarterback is not the right system. Yeah. Baker. Yeah, fun fact. Oklahoma State grad do not like Kyler Murray. You like him less than Baker, which is the weird Correct. thing. I actually, I don't mind Baker. That's crazy. Baker never said anything bad about Oklahoma State. That's true. Like, Baker was, like, relatively nice. Yeah. Kyler said the trash town of Stillwater. Dude, Norman, Oklahoma. Norman is disgusting. I was going to say, Norman, <laughs> Oklahoma. My sister went to OU. It's the most midtown in the U.S. It's Matsuyama mid. says, I like Curtis so much. I love Curtis. Curtis is, like, so a discount. T- so, so, T. Walsh. I like that. Curtis Speed is speed, too. Somewhat, but he's a gadget-type player. I like to compare him to, and I think you were here when I said this text, Dollar General <laughs> Debo Samuel. Yes. That's what he is. He's Dollar yes. General Debo Samuel, which, like, Carry the ball a dollar general it. Debo Samuel with Patrick Mahomes becomes a regular Debo Samuel. <laughs> so that, that'd be awesome. Pair White with Snead and McDuffie. Who's White? Let's say not Devin White. Trades Nina Titans for DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, the Chiefs actually get Hopkins after all. <laughs> that'd be so funny. Yeah, I mean, uh, Will, Will, he had three touchdowns in, his, in Will Levis' debut game. Kind of wild. Uh, Dev Ron says, who have the Chiefs signed? You want to throw that back up for us, Tex? We got the four people. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll get that. The four people the Chiefs have signed over the last couple hours, or couple days, rather. Drew Tranquil, re-signed. Chris Jones, re-signed. Obviously, five years, almost $160 million. Record-breaking deal. James Winchester, one year for $1.37 million. They re-signed him. Um, and then we have Irv Smith, one year, $1.3 million deal. Uh, somebody just asked about somebody typing. Tom Pellicero just had a tweet. Uh, okay, what the fudge is this? No, it's, 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 con- it's, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> I had something about R.F. Kennedy or something. I have fudging no idea. I have no clue. Whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, the, 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 the vaccines killed him. And there's Deion Bush. That's the one that, that we risk. I'm going to miss Nick. Nick Allegretti did sign. That's the one guy who did sign away. So, okay, I guess we should uh, – correct, with a torn 
He tore something in the Super Bowl and still played. Tore something in his shoulder. Uh, Nick Allegretti, who hurt his UCL, he went to the Commanders. And then we have Tommy Townsend went to the Texans. Those are the two. We'll run through uh, all the NFL here momentarily and, and kind of get what's the latest here going around the National Football League with the free agency season happening. But um, there's a couple of things. I would like Justin Simmons, Charlie Hall. I would love Charlie, uh, Justin Simmons. Sneed will most likely be traded. I agree, Lewis. I mean, he, he's going to be traded. Like, I, don't, I don't think that. I'm going to miss Tommy Townsend. But, hey, if you wanted any more clarification that Matt Arise is your punter, bang. Matt Arise is the Chiefs punter in 2024, which I'm excited for. I'm not, not going to lie. Uh, trade Sneed for Scary Terry? I don't hate it. Well, let me, I'm curious. Do you want to trade Sneed for picks or players? Because like you go, you, I don't think you get both. Like, do you want to trade Steam for picks or players? I think that's like the, I think that's a good question. Yeah, I knew that that was gonna happen. Love the move, A plus move for Beach there. Oh yeah. But the Chiefs are really good at drafting quarterbacks and sending them to the process. Yep, exactly, Lewis. I mean, Brett Veach has had a knack for drafting great quarterbacks. See, there's the positives. I like it. Shout out, Lewis. Getting the positives rolling here. Picks or players. Picks or players. Brown signed a backup QB. Jameis Winston? Or are they saying somebody else? Glow King picks so he can move up in the draft. Brian Hudson says picks. We need T. Huggers. <laughs> you retracted it. I've, you meant T. Higgins. Don't worry. I got you, man. <laughs> the Chiefs has a great cornerback. They got a great cornerbacks coach. They also have a really, really good uh, knack for drafting a cornerback. All right. Trade Steve for draft picks or players? Draft picks or players? Higgins for show. Lewis says picks over players. Uh, Ethan, if we got Justin Jefferson, I'd go get a tattoo right now that says Super Bowl 59 champs. Because <laughs> th there's no other way. I bet our new punter can do fake punts like can't do fake punts like Tommy like Tommy. Probably, but Matt Arias that can also boot the ball 70 yards. So like you know, it'll be okay. Ryan Davenport says players. Tony Fuentes says picks. Came in and said he says receivers. Tony Fuentes says picks. Uh, players. Tony Fuentes says picks. You have to get a cripple the franchise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Picks unless it's T or J Jettis. Agree. Trade for picks. The way you draft players, you can control over several years for cheap. Correct, Lewis. Plus, Brett Feach. Great draft guy. Great draft guy. Well, that's the thing, like, correct. I would rather you hit on every single pick than get than sign somebody in free agency. Well, it, it, well, in some, you have to do both. But I think in some ways it's harder to hit on draft picks. Because, like, with free agency, like, Saquon Barkley is going to be good for the Eagles. But are they going to draft Kool-Aid McKinstry and expect him to be automatically good? We don't know yet. He hasn't played in the NFL. I don't know. <laughs> Eckler landed with the Commanders, I believe. Yes, Lewis. He Eckler. Yeah, Eckler already signed with the Commanders. I know. Well, they lost Antonio Gibson because he went to the Patriots. Which, by the way, let's actually start running through the deals that have been done. So I, I know everybody's kind of questioning what's going on, what happened with the NFL. Let's kind of go through everything that's happened right now. Um, Sally says, seems like we got a good defensive backs. Just got to get now. Are we trading him away? We're already trading Cena away, I believe. I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty locked in. The first move that happened, re-sign MBS. No. I can't. Mike Evans, two years, $52 million deal. That was the first thing that happened. Demarcus Robinson followed him with a one-year, $5 million deal. Dalton Schultz and Zach Ertz, a couple of tight ends going off here. Three years for $36 million. Dalton Schultz, pretty good money for, I'd say, like the 10th, 11th best, 11th best tight end in the NFL. Pretty good. He was solid for the Cowboys. I was kind of surprised they didn't re-sign him. Yeah, that was, that was, that was kind of surprising. Uh, and then Zach Ertz, the one-year meal. We have Ryan Bates as well. Uh, he went to uh, the uh, Bears. And the weirdest thing ever, Mitchell Trubitsky, after literally taking all of their players, throwing them in the garbage can because they have no cap space, they signed Mitch Trubitsky. I don't know why. Buffalo has, like, an affinity with Mitch Trubitsky. So they had them before he was with the Steelers. He was on there, yeah. Well, And what's funny is Mitch Trubitsky had a video with the Steelers making fun of Russell Wilson, saying, Steelers, Steelers Nation, whatever, let's ride. And I'm like, you realize 
Steelers Nation now starting quarterback is Russell Wilson. You're the backup for a Bills team. What are you doing? What are you doing? Here we go. Uh, Jonu Smith went to the Dolphins. Tyron Matthew back with the Saints. There was a little interesting story with Tyron Smith, uh, Tyron Matthew, about how he left. Well, he revealed on Twitter that he that like apparently the reason he left KC may have been because of Twitter. Like things happened, and like I don't remember the whole story. That was weird. Um, heard they just signed Brown. Who signed Brown? Who? Uh, I just see. Nope. Latest move was Jeremy Chin to Washington as of right now. I should pull up Tweet Deck though. That's probably a smart thing. Let me go put Tweet Deck over here. That way we know when there is a sign. Uh, the rest of the league playing keep away from the Chiefs. Tommy clears because of his hair. Also, I miss Honey Badger. I do miss Honey Badger. I'm not gonna lie. What's up, Per Gamer? Can you tell me what has all happened since I've been gone? Uh, all that happened was we signed to Irv Smith. That that's it. Signed to Irv Smith, um, and, and that, that's that's all it. So, oh, here it is. Irv Smith, one point two nine million dollar deal, three hundred eighty four thousand of it guaranteed. Actually, here, um, I'll send you this. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna send this for you. Yeah, push this. Kaimi Fairbairn, which by the way, can anybody figure out his full name? Cause it is long as heck. Uh, kicker for the Texans, re-signed three years, $15.9 million extension. He's now, I believe, the third highest paid kicker in the NFL. Pretty good. Uh, Chukwoma Okorafor, I believe that's how you say that. Okorafor? Okorafor? The Medellin. Chidobe Auji. Jalen Johnson, four years, $26 million deal. That's pretty good, pretty good. And we obviously have the Drew Tranquil deal. Uh, that one was nice, three years, $19 million. Uh, you want to push this next one here for me, Tex? Kevin Dotson, three years, $48 million. Hunter Henry stays in New England. Mike Gusecki does leave, but he stays in New England. So that's a, yeah. Oh, Debo Samuel is changing his jersey number from 19 to 1. It's what he wore. It's what he wore. Great job, Ari. It's, you know. Prees repeat Irv's contract. Uh, we're making a social for it, so we'll, so we'll, we'll have that on there in a second. But I'll tell you all that again. One-year deal, $1.292 million, 384000 of it guaranteed. Matsuyama. Matsuyama, three hundred three. Mike Williams in a round one, and, and one round pick for Snead. Mike Williams in a round two, round three pick. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, Brandon McManus. Deal, such just you know. LJ Collier, one-year deal with the Cardinals to the wrap. Ended up three years, $10.6 million to the Buffalo Bills. The Hunter Henry deal, though, is the nice one, I think. I think three years, $30 million, pretty good. Uh, that's their tight end. And I've seen some people say that the, the, the Patriots could draft, pick one, Drake May, Jane Daniels, whoever it is, and then around two, they could do either receiver or Javante Sanders. Jatavion, dear gosh. I was like, Javante's not right, but this Javante dude is great. <laughs> oh, man. Javion here. It's a good name. Cool name. Cool name. But. Yeah, yeah. Great. Sweet. Who would you rather draft end of round one? Xavier Worthy, Adam Mitch, or Keon Coleman? AD. I like Xavier. Xavier's probably like two. It's probably AD, Xavier, Keon. Get Aaron Jones over Jared. Aaron Jones signed with the Vikings, unfortunately. Ezra Cleveland, three years, $28.5 million deal. Jake Bailey with the Dolphins stays there. Two years, 4.2. Colton McKibbitz, McKibbitz, excuse me, one year, $7 million extension. Then Patrick Scales, uh, nothing too crazy here. Ezra Cleveland, a good, good deal for the Jaguars. They're actually making some interesting moves, but uh, Gabe Davis for the money they paid for him, $8 million, is kind of wild for a guy who's good one day and then bad the other. So, you know, it happens. All right, let's go back to that contract. I know some of y'all were looking at it. So here is the contract for Irv Smith. One year, $1.292 million, 384000 guaranteed. Salary of $1.125 million. Uh, one, one, whatever, the first game roster. So if he's on the roster of the first game, he's going to get an extra $150,000. So thank you, Tony. Glad you're watching. Glad you're having fun. 
Oops, I didn't see the official sign for Jones. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Jones. Jones is good, man. Jones. Jones signed. Is he? He's. 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 He's here. Holly on Brown is being talked about with the Chiefs, but nothing on him signed. Nothing yet, Lewis. Curtis Samuel is also being talked about with the Chiefs. So, hopefully something happens. But if not, use hashtag Chiefs because we're gonna have a mailbag at the later part of this show. Um, so if you got any questions on who you want the Chiefs to sign, uh, really anything, we're gonna put on the show and have that later on. Uh, let's continue on here with the deals that we saw. So Ezra Cleveland obviously talked about him, talking about how the Jaguars have some interesting moves. I like what they've done, but at the same time, you know, could be there. Who would you want, Hollywood Brown or Curtis Samuel? Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel for sure. Curtis Samuel for sure. Yeah. yeah I, I, plus, like, I like Marquise, but if you get Marquise, then I think you have to plan on getting A.D. Mitchell in the draft. Either way, you're getting a, you have to get a receiver and, and run one. Um, I will say this. If A.D. Mitchell and Xavier Worthy are both on the board, and you got and, and you and you and you got Marquise Brown, I think you draft Ennis Rakestraw Jr. or Cooley and McKinstry, and then at pick sixty four you get Devontae Walker or somebody, or try and move up in the second round and go get a Brendan Rice, a Devontae Walker, a, a potential Troy Franklin. I think I think there. So Jake Bailey went to the Dolphins. Jake Bailey stayed with the Dolphins. He was with the Patriots, signed with the Dolphins last year, and re-signed with the Dolphins. Uh, McKivitz, McKivitz, McKivitz. Uh, Johnny Munt for the Vikings. He was the one-year $2.5 million deal. Amir Abdullah, let's go Raiders. Your running back room is Amir Abdullah. Woo! And Zamir White, one-year $1.85 million deal. Uh, Tavarius Moore goes with the Bears. Don't have the full details there. Justin Matabuke, four years, $98 million. It was funny because we were actually on the Chat Sports main channel yesterday. I'm going to be on it again tomorrow, so make sure you are hanging out with me there. We'll be live around, like, I don't know, 1? I don't even know when we're going live, but we're only live, so come hang out with me there. Uh, we were live, and me and the Browns host, Matthew Peterson, we were talking about the deal that Christian Wilkins was going to get. We were saying, well, if Matabuka got 98, and Chris Jones got 158, and yearly, obviously, it's around 24 for Matabuka, 31 for Chris Jones. We thought Christian Wilkins was going to be right in the middle. That's what Petey, Petey even called. Petey said, Petey said, I'm going to have him at $27.5 million. Chris Wilkins signed for $27.5 million a year. So Petey, Petey knows ball. Petey knows ball. Uh, who's going to start, Aiden or Gardner? Gardner, but it doesn't matter because that's just hilarious that that's their options. Cody Ford got a one-year deal with the Bengals. Brandon Graham stays with the Eagles. Jerry Judy with the trade. Wow. That was a shocker. That was a shocker. We talked about Judy and a potential trade with the Chiefs for a while. Um, I think a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. That was such a steal. Judy is going to cook. Problem is, uh, Deshaun Watson is quarterback. So that, that may not work that well. Eric Murray, pretty good deal there for the Texans. They have him there. Tyler Lockett stays with the Seahawks. Two years, $34 million. Deal. And then the big one, Chris Jones, the best free agent on the board, stays home. KC. Five years, $158.75 million. 101 of it guaranteed. That's a bag. He deserves it. He has. He probably has one. You can probably. <laughs> Taylor Swift can buy your fuel for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Craig Reynolds. Uh, he got. He got stayed signed. Stayed re-signed. Whatever with the Lions. Mac Jones got traded to the Jaguars. I can't wait for the Jaguars to trade for Justin Fields too, and then they're gonna have the entire quarterback class from that draft because it was. First pick of it was Trevor Lawrence. The second quarterback off the board of that draft was Justin Fields. And then it was Mac Jones. They can have all three. <laughs> it's like uh, it's, a, it's, it's the, the Infinity Gauntlet. They're putting in all the, all the quarterbacks. Oh, my gosh. Mac Jones, the Jaguars, bro. That's crazy. Dr. Mario Kovac says, at Jace, rather an offensive tackle and wide receiver or wide receiver and offensive, ta uh, offensive tackle in the draft order. It uh, depends on the free agency. depends on free agency. I would definitely say wide receiver first uh, because you're going to get one later and one early. Um, but I I want the drug feel of I think Justin Jefferson for Snead would ever happen. Yeah, unfortunately, we got reports that the Vikings turned down two first-round picks and T. Higgins from the Bengals for Justin Jefferson. The Bengals are on the quest to just make the 2019 LSU team. They're going to sign Clyde Edwards a Larynx like a freaking... <laughs> Uh, it'll be interesting. Oh, man. Wow. 
Kevin Byard, that's an interesting one, literally traded from the Titans to the Eagles, got cut, and signed with the Bears. Bears secondary kind of be nice. Kevin Byard, Jalen Johnson, their defense has always been good. It's just been their offense. Well, they, then they extended him right after. So, correct. Baker Mayfield gets the big deal. Three years, $100 million, 50 of it's guaranteed. Uh, yeah. Somebody beat the wall. So what happened? I was about to say, Chief signed somebody in this? Someone, someone want to tell me? Uh, Jeremy Chin had multiple offers, but he wanted to go to Dan Quinn and the Commanders. That's funny. I don't know. James Q. Mm. Cool for them. Whatever. Uh, Andre James goes back with the Raiders. Three years, $24 million. Uh, Foley Fatoukasi, one-year deal with the Texans. Casey Creeder. But the New York Giants, and then Robert Jones, one year to stay, or one year with the Dolphins. Kendrick Bourne, and what is maybe a very overpriced deal, I don't really like it, three years, $33 million. $11 million a year for Kendrick Bourne? I don't, I don't, like, that. I don't like that at all. Uh, by the way, Lewis, I see your comment about saying the Chiefs would be lucky to get a second rounder. Supposedly, Brett Veach has said that they are looking for at least a uh, second round pick. At least. Brandon Powell returning to the Vikings on a one-year deal. Correct. I mean, I know you have to sign him for a con like a big contract, but, you know. Uh, Chase, I, I've heard the Chiefs are interested in Curtis Samuel. I think that they honestly could uh, potentially get him. And so, um, well, honestly, that's why we're live right now, because hopefully maybe something happens. Maybe they sign him. I don't know. But if he does, follow me on Twitter. I guarantee you. We're going to have the report right there. Uh, yeah, going to have that. And on top of which, we're just having fun with y'all. Let's talk with y'all. Uh, make sure you're subscribed as well. we got 150 people watching. If you're new to the channel, guess what? we got awesome Chiefs coverage going on every single day of the year here on the Chiefs Report. So I promise you you're not going to find better places to get your Chiefs news than right here. Lewis says, so maybe extension of the works for Steve? Uh, potentially. That's the other option. Um, if you're not getting a wide receiver, extend him. Like, if you, here's my thing. If you're not going to get Curtis Samuel, if you're not going to get Marquise Brown, you're not going to get Tyron Smith, if you're saying Irv Smith was what we got, we're good, so re-sign Deion Bush, re-sign McKinnon or uh, Clyde, just extend him. Extend Snead. You restructure Mahomes' contract. You restructure uh, the contract with Juwan Taylor. You draft a wide receiver, pick 32. Bang. You're, you're, you're good. Like, your defense is automatically amazing. Your offense then has an extra wide receiver, so I don't know. I think it'd be nice. Uh, let's continue on here. Isaiah Franklin, Russell Wilson, all those guys. Graham Glass now. Glass Gal, excuse me, in three years, $20 million. Mitch Morse, underrated deal there. The center for now the Jaguars, two years, $10.5 million. Troy Hill. And then Greg the Leg Zerline, who's got to be 75 years old, uh, two years, $8.4 million. I'm telling you, Greg Zerline has been in the league for so freaking long. It's kind of wild. So long. Yeah, he was. He was for a little bit. He was. And then y'all got, uh, oh, Brett Maher, and then uh, a <laughs> dude who can't make an extra point. Uh, and then you got a guy who literally was a soccer player until last year. What's his name again? I can see his face. Who's the Cowboys kicker? <laughs> There's so many kickers. Mason Crosby was the guy who crushed y'all. <laughs> who, who was the Cowboys kicker that didn't miss anything? Brandon Aubrey. That's who it is. Brandon Aubrey. Yeah. Before my homes be like no help, no playing. Like, yeah, before my homes was tough. Uh, it was lots of fun. Chase McLaughlin, another kicker, got a deal. He got it done with the Buccaneers. Landon Dickerson goes four years, eighty-four million dollars. I know, crazy. Well, and the craziest thing, Will Lutz signed with the Jaguars. Is that what it was? And then, uh, literally two hours later, we get a, a tweet from Adam Schefter. Will Lutz has. Changed his mind. <laughs> what do you mean? Changed his mind. He's signed. <laughs> so, oh, it's correct. One year less. Two. It was three years with the Jaguars. Two years with the Broncos. I saw a funny tweet. Um, after Mac Jones got traded to Jacksonville, somebody tweeted out and he goes, "Well." Last time a New England quarterback that got traded to Florida, we know what happened. Tom Brady 
Tom Brady won, won the Bucks Super Bowl. So is Mac Jones going to win the Jaguars Super Bowl? People are talking. People are talking. <laughs> Someone signed that for me. <laughs> Brandon Allen was the first deal of yesterday's little frenzy that happened. Uh, he was the first one when actually it happened, opened up. Yeah, Andre Swift, three years, $24 million. That's a lot. That's a lot for a guy that really doesn't prove much. I, I like the deal. I think he's good. That's a lot, though. Deion Dawkins, the troll master. I'll tell you what. Deion Dawkins posted on his Instagram story, peace out, Buffalo. Guess I can have ranch now. And then minutes later, a report came out that he signed. <laughs> he was trolling them. He was trolling them. He was trying to be a troll. And then because he tweeted out, y'all really think I was going to leave Buffalo? Ha, ha, ha. I'm here for life. So that was kind of funny. Well, so I found this out yesterday. Buffalo, you only get blue cheese. They don't yeah. give you ranch. It's funny that you say that. My roommate in college uh, at UT, he was from Buffalo, New York, and he was adamant. Every time we went to go get wings in Austin, he was like, no, 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 no. No ranch, only blue cheese all the time. And he explained that to me, that it's like a, it's because I think Buffalo is the originator Correct. of blue wings. cheese dressing and wings. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he was never, never a ranch guy. I think blue cheese is foul, personally, but... I like ranch way more. Ranch is better. Ranch is better. I'm a big wings guy. I want to go to Buffalo to try it, but if they're going to force me, force freaking blue cheese on me, maybe no. <laughs> uh, we cannot buy a tank to off the Texans. It would cost everything. <laughs> they love him. Eagles signed Parker. Yep, Eagles did sign Devontae Parker. Uh, Jonathan Grenard, big deal yesterday. Got it with the Minnesota Vikings. Tony Pollard heads to the Tennessee Titans, his homegrown talent. I know. And Tony said, I'm going to take less money to sign with the Cowboys. And then proceeded to, I guess, I guess he was, I'm, I'm assuming he said, I'll take less money. And the Titans said, here's a bag. And he's like, actually, <laughs> actually, I'll go back home where I, where I grew up. James Winchester. Yeah, he's from, from Tennessee. Uh, they're in Nashville, but still pretty close. Uh, James Winchester, one year, $1.37 million on the long snapper, re-signing there. Equinemius St. Brown, that'd be nice. Also an Equinemius, solid name. Drew Sample, three years, 10.5 with the Bengals. David Questenberry, signed back with the Vikings. Ah, uh, yeah, no, crazy. What's funny is their GM is uh, Quezzy or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like Quest <laughs> Questenberry and Quezzy. Uh, Blake Brindle, Brandel went back to the Vikings. Or went to the Vikings, rather. Brandon Jones goes to the Broncos. He went to Texas, Brandon Jones? All right, insider sources. Lloyd Cushenberry, four years, $50 million to the Titans. They get a center. That was a top, li uh, top, uh, top center, top, top, correct. He was the top lineman on the board. Uh, Titans need help on line. They, they sucked on lineman. Yeah, not bad, not bad. They're going to get Joe Alt probably at pick number seven, too. Dorrance Armstrong, the former Cowboy, goes and teams back up with his old defensive quarter. I'm telling you, the commanders are just trying to be the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're just trying to be the Cowboys because Dan Quinn's like, hey. Yes, right. <laughs> they kept that bum, Mike McCarthy. Mike McCarthy is the most overrated coach in the entire National Football League, and it's not even close. I mean, <laughs> he is in charge of one of the greatest franchises ever, and he's an absolute clown. I wish they would have hired Dan Quinn internally and to replace him, but they're not going to because they made the playoffs, and that's Jerry Jones' litmus, litmus test for success in Dallas is if they make the playoffs, not win a Super Bowl. <laughs> Fuck me, though. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Gabe Davis. That's so much money for him. That's so much money, bro. He's not worth $39. Million. Here you go. Christian Wilkins, four years, $110 million. Correct. And I was right in the middle, 27.5. 27 27.5. He did. He Cam Lewis, two years, $4 million deal. Uh, Gunnar Olsweski, I think is the way you say it. One-year deal with the New York Giants. Tyler Biotish. Tyler Biotish, three years, $30 million. Lonnie Johnson, one year, 2.5. Uh, Jonah Jackson, that was, a big, that was a good one. That was a good one. Um, good offensive line guy to help out their squad there and really help uh, the Rams try and get back to the Super Bowl. See if they can do it. I think he may retire, bro. He has such a bag waiting for him from CBS to go be a to an analyst. So, 
Yeah, there's so much must. Khalil Parkinson, three years, $22.5 million. And then Josh Jacobs, you're not going to play the Chiefs anymore. You're going to the Packers. Four years, $48 million. I don't think that, but I think the Raiders made a smart decision because uh, I wouldn't have paid him that way. But, um, correct, correct. Because then they cut him right after. They cut Aaron Jones right after. And I would have loved the Chiefs to sign him, but Aaron Jones immediately went to the, the Vikings, which is, I, I really think Aaron Jones is like, fine, F you. I'm going to go show you what it's all about. We're going to run over you when we play you. So, that'd be funny. Bryce Huff, three years, $51 million deal. Good deal for the Eagles. Eagles were winners last today. Eagles were winners. Because not only did they have Bryce Huff, but next slide, Saquon like Barkley, also with the Eagles, three years, 37.5. Higher husband always does this. And it's unfortunate, though, that his coach has an emotional attitude and emotional problems. <laughs> yeah, Nick Sirianni has some emotional problems. Uh, so that's funny. Kirk Cousins, four years, one of me. Oh, bro. And the fact that he was like, oh, I didn't have my bodyguard for the last part of the year. That's why stuff went wrong. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get that at all. Antonio Gibson, three years, $11.25 million. Not bad for the uh, Patriots. Made some interesting moves. Not going to lie. I think they were, uh, they're, they're, they're curious. Resigned Jalen Rager. Gotcha, Kobe Brissett. Couple, couple of moves. Sean Murray Bunting going to the uh, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, pretty good deal there for AZ. And now they get Marvin Harrison, uh, Kyler Murray. What's going to happen there? I'm kind of curious. John Runyon, <laughs> John Runyon everybody. Marshall. Yeah, he kind of sucks. Three years, $30 million. That's, I don't know why they signed him. Got to be honest. The Giants are by far the biggest losers of this entire thing. Bro, they should they have did signed nothing. a win you. They should have signed a win you. Yeah, I, they did. I don't know what they're doing. And then and the Patriots got him back. So they got Brian Burns, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Woohoo. Hey, Drew Locke though. That's your day one starter for the Vikings. That's your day one starter. Andrew Van Geekle, two years, twenty million dollars. I think he's gonna be really good with the Vikings. Again, Vikings were great besides Kirk Cousins. Like they lost Kirk Cousins, but again, they wouldn't have had all this money to sign people like Brian Blake Cashman. Great deal from the Texans. Uh really good. I like that. Tyquan Lewis to the Colts was also in there. Two years, $12 million. Rob Hunt, one of the bigger contracts of the day. Five years, $100 million going to Carolina. Straight up said, yeah, I don't want to win, but I'll take the money. So, uh, sorry if you're a Panthers fan in here. This should be all Chiefs fans, but I, I just, they're not going to be good. Rob Hunt's not going to save them. Uh, yeah. Bialy Nichols, three years, $21 million. Charlie Warner. And then Jeff Okuda. First round pick, a bust for the Lions, went to the Falcons, now goes to the Texans. Which, by the way, uh, they also had Danico Autry. But funny enough, I'm curious to see what the Texans are doing. Because don't they, didn't they have a pretty good secondary last year, and yet they just signed Okuda? Like, y'all have so much money. Why are you wasting it on Jeff Okuda? Like, they should have got, if they really wanted to spend money, go get Xavier McKinney, who went to the freaking Packers. Packers are so decent winners. Overspent on McKinney, overspent on Jacobs, but both are good. Both are good. Not gonna, not gonna. But they definitely, they're correct. They definitely pay too much, way too much for both those. But that's okay. Uh, Devin Singletary, three years, sixteen point five million dollars. Cameron Johnson. It's not bad, but the fact that that's gonna be the starting running back is kind of sad. Oh well, yeah. Well, he's not a starter. He's not a starter. He wasn't a starter last year for the Texans. Like I, I know that's what he ended up being. But they had Damian Williams. That was their plan for starter. Now they have Joe Mixon. So. Good for them. Uh, Click and Cliff. Are we going to get a receiver or not? We should. Uh, I don't know. So, looks like linebacker Josie Jewell will get $22.7 million. $7 million signing bonus, $10 million guaranteed, three years. Yeah, That's an interesting one. So, there's not a lot guaranteed in that. So, well, I'm wondering if the Panthers are one of those, sign him this year. Hopefully, he plays well. We can cut him if we, if we need to. Yeah. Yeah. The Rover Stewart, I talked about him on one of the Chiefs shows, said we could get him and be a good defensive tackle to pair with Chris Jones. Uh, given you do have, uh, correct. Danico Archer is also one that I wanted. He went to the Texans, obviously. Uh, so now, Mike Dana and Derek Nottie, could you re sign them? Maybe? I would like them. Uh, Gus Edwards, two years, 6.5. He's the Austin Eckler replacement because Austin Eckler went to the Commanders. Geno Stone, two years, $50 million. I like that. Guy had seven interceptions last year, second most in the league behind. That one's slightly surprising just because it's an intra-division kind of signing there. Like, I, I feel like 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he played for the Ravens. So it's like, well, it's also uh, it's crazy. Uh, Patrick Queen signed with the the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh yeah. This well, mom, what's funny is uh, two AFC North interdivision signings is crazy, bro. Um. Lamar Jackson tweeted out, "You're dead to me." To both those guys with laughing emojis. Obviously, he was joking, but it was, he was like, "Geno Stone, you're dead to me." And then Patrick Queen, he's like, "Patrick Queen, you're dead to me." So, unlike the actual beef between Saquon Barkley and all the, that's an actual beef. So, but here's my thing: the Giants didn't offer him a contract. And if the, here's the whole thing: Marshall Green's gonna go, "Oh, they, they were offering since 2022. Let's not." Okay, they're probably offering him chump change. Like, pay the damn man. He's your franchise. Josh Shane is stupid. Let's pay Daniel Jones right away when he has one good year. But Saquon Barkley, not a chance. Not a chance. Yeah. You think Drew Locke's a starter? You think Drew Locke should be a starter? Yes. How confident are you in Drew Locke? Drew Locke is amazing. Drew Locke's amazing. <laughs> Drew Locke, baby. Mike Ford, two years, $4.5 million. Got Gardner Minshew for two years, $25 million. In the most laughable deal of the day. That was hilarious. Oh, yeah, but that's starter money. They're paying Gardner Minshew starting money. Gardner Minshew's going to start. Stupid. Stupid. Devin Duvernay, two, point, two years, 3.5 again. Correct, but why? <laughs> I th and Calvin really wants to go back to the Jacks. So, like, they're paying these other people, and Calvin's like, bro, <laughs> I want to play for y'all. <laughs> He's not. Calvin really is such a patriot. He's such a patriot. Greg Gaines, one year, $3.5 million deal. Carter Coughlin, one year deal. Don't have the details. Oh, man. Yeah, so there's still a lot. Leonard Floyd, two years, $20 million. Uh, <laughs> Shida Beauzier uh, is the correct way to say that name. <laughs> Although some people here do not call him that. Justin Jones, three years, $30 million. Frankie Louv. Uh, I wanna, I'm curious. Shida Beauzier is how you say this name. How would y'all pronounce the name? How would y'all pronounce the name? I'm kind of curious to see what y'all think. Phonetically spell this out. Because it's Shida Beauzier. Somebody, uh, Patriot Safety Jalen Mills, one year to the Giants. Damn it. For the Chiefs, yeah. Good safety. He, he's, he was pretty pr pretty young, pretty cheap. He good. Chose the Giants over the Eagles. Oh, he's also played for the Eagles before. Uh, need a wide receiver. Frankly, sign Marquise Brown. I would like Marquise Brown. I also like Curtis Samuel. Uh, Jace, do you agree? What was your question? To be honest, we don't need a wide receiver. We just need our wide receivers to not be in a cycle. We need to set the list of Rice, Watson, Kelsey, Pop, Cole, McClellan. I agree. I don't think they need to sign a wide receiver. I still think they should draft one, but um, that's funny. Bill Chase, love your question. Hashtag Chiefs. Hey, Jace, I think that the Chiefs should make a trade with the Jets and draft Joe Alt Jr. because his dad played with the Chiefs back in his dad, back in his day. What do you think about that? I would love it. I just don't think it's going to happen just because like, that's it's too high a price to play for a team that's looking to become three-peat champions. No, just the way it is. Uh, Justin Jones, Frankie Louvre, Chitabe Awuzi. Matt, we already signed somebody here earlier today. Yeah, we did. We signed Irv Smith. You're good. Will Disley, three years, $14 million. AJ Epineza, one that I wanted to have with the damn Chiefs. Two years, $20 million. Back with the Bills. Defensive end, he'd help. He'd be nice. Jadarius Smith stays with the Cleveland Browns and Anthony Walker. Uh, pretty good little list right here. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun time. Got the... NFL free agency kind of locked and loaded all here. Chiefs signed somebody already. The Chiefs did sign Irv Smith. Chiefs did sign Irv Smith. So, did sign somebody. Bill Bragg says 2024 receivers, Rice, Watson, rookie number one, rookie number two, Moore, Hardman, and Ross. Don't mind it. Don't mind it at all. Hardman won't be with the Chiefs. I think he will. I think Hardman will be. Sneed says he wants to stay as a Chief. He does. He does. But, like, I don't think it's a possibility anymore. He, he, it, it'd be a lot to give up. We lost our minds over our wide receiver because we had no chemistry and we were having our wide receiver play basketball with the subs in every five minutes. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. What's up, Demon Angels? Justin Simmons. I like Justin Simmons. 
I think he'd be good with the Chiefs. I think that that would be a, a pretty good fit in a lot of different facets. I know that Simmons has obviously played against the Chiefs a lot. 30 interceptions, by the way, since he came into the league. Most. He's not signed. Kind of wild, if you ask me. Kind of wild. We're going to have a mailbag coming up here in just a little bit, guys. So make sure you're getting those questions in. Hashtag Chiefs. And bingo, bingo, y'all can be on here. Um, yeah, Jalen Mills to the Giants is the latest deal we've got. If it's a loaded water seer class, then draft dudes sign other the other other needed pieces. Agreed. Agree. Matsuyama, Irv Smith would come on, sign somebody who really need. Yeah. That would be nice. Richie was good. Richie was good. He is a free agent, though. Richie is a free agent. Would you like to see Mike Edwards back or someone else? I think someone else, just because Mike Edwards, he wants a bag. Chiefs can't give him to him. So that's okay. That's okay. If Mike Edwards does come back, I'd be happy, though. I'd be happy. Not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, once Dex gets back, we're probably going to kind of run through the last little bit of our signings here and have our little Q&A coming out here. Just a second. Oh, what's up? What's up, beast? You want to press that space bar for me? Thanks. Mac Wilson also made a signing yesterday with the Arizona Cardinals. And Maurice Hurst, Marcus Davenport, Alohi Gilman. Is that how you say that? Alohi Gilman. Never heard of that guy in my life. Carlton Davis. Oh, Jalen Ramsey cleared that much in space? Wow. I didn't realize that. That's a ton of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Zach Bond, one year, $3.5 million. And Juwan Jennings, staying with San Francisco, man. It's a good deal. Juwan's a good receiver. Underrated. Tennessee legend. Tennessee legend. Correct. We'll start running through these in the back half, and then we're going to get to our mailbag coming up here in just a little bit. So get those questions in. Hashtag Chiefs. That would be pretty good. Uh, Jermaine oh, Illuminor. I was about to say, I was like, I got a no clue. <laughs> Jermaine Illuminor, Brian Burns. Five years, spent $150 million deal on the trade. Good trade there. Good trade. Austin Eckler. Wanted him with the Chiefs, projected to potentially end up with the Chiefs, goes to the Commanders. Two years and $11.4 million, which is more than I would have paid for him, so that's fine. I was going to pay him $4 million. So, Jordan Brooks, three years, $30 million, especially when he's not going to be a starter for you. Like, Pop is the starter, so, you know, that's how it was. Uh, Patrick Queen, three years, $41 million, $13 million in 2024 is guaranteed, 13.83 in 2025, and March roster bonuses of $6.67 million. Interesting. Uh, Ronald Darby, two years, $10 million. Aziz Al Shair going from the Titans to the Texans. Uh, Billy Bragg, Hardman's not gone yet. Hardman is yet to be signed, so he could come back still. We'll have to see. Okay. When you re signed. Oh, when you. Three years, $57 million. Noah Fant, two years, $21 million. No. Yeah, um, I, I lost it on mine, too. Hopefully, I didn't mess up too much. Anyways. Spice bar. <laughs> first, first bar. Is it bad that I think Derek Henry was not a good pickup for the Ravens? I like the hot take. Not going to lie. <laughs> he is kind of old. I mean, well, here's my thing. One little pop of the foot, he's done for the season, maybe done for his career. Because he's already had that happen once. Well, that and, like, if any position in the NFL degrades heavily after the running age of 30, backs. it's running backs. Running backs degrade after the well, age of 25. That's why I can a running back. Like, if my second contract better be a bag. So. Aaron Brewer heads to the Miami Dolphins. Jacoby Brissett staying, or actually returning to New England. Uh, Leonard Williams stays with Seattle. Yatur Grossmatos. I think that's how you say that. Yatur Grossmatos. Coming from the Panthers to the Niners. What a switch up. I uh, go from Charlotte, North Carolina to San Francisco from a team that was worse than the NFL to a team that was in the Super Bowl. Good job, you turd gross matos. <laughs> uh, Demon Angels, what was your question? Sorry. I'm, yeah, you has to, oh, I see, I see. Him. I'm doing fantastic today. I would love to see this team, some Curtis Simba Ridley. I would love to see who they get at left tackle. I agree. Well, we're going to put that. We have some, uh, have some <sighs> mailbags coming up. That's what it's called. Something, yeah. Uh, Tony Fuentes, not a big NBA guy. like the Celtics. I think they're fun to watch. Um, also, 
I'm a Rockets guy a little bit. I like the Rockets. Don't I'm from Houston. Don't mind the Thunder. They're a fun team to watch. The funny to watch, but uh, Celtics are the number one for sure. Celtics are number one. I've been pained by having to watch them not win uh, an NBA championship since I've been alive. Well, yeah. I got one when I was seven. Cool. So. <laughs> Jordan Hicks, two years, $8 million deal. <laughs> Sione Taki Taki, two years, $6.5 million. Noah Brown, one year, $5 million. They had a ton of money. Well, here's, what, here's the thing. The Texans had a lot of money. They didn't, make, they didn't make big moves. They made many moves. So, many men. Chiefs are still in talks with Hollywood. They are. They also are still in talks with Curtis Samuel. It just hasn't happened yet. My luck, when I'm off on Thursday... They'll sign. So, that's the way it's going to go. Yeah, I have my heart appointment. Yeah, unfortunately. No. Oh, well. No, I'm working Friday. Because I worked this Sunday. Yeah. 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 Chase Edmonds, one year deal back with the Buccaneers, Malik Harrison. Jalen Rager, one year deal with the Patriots. And Zach Moss, two years, $8 million deal that we immediately thought, oh, guess what? He's going to get released. He did. And then he got traded. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of wild. Uh, Brandon McManus, another kicker, one year, $3.6 million. Damian Lewis with the Carolina Panthers, and John Simpson, two years, $12 million. Nick Allegretti, there it is. Hey, it, dude was a dog. Played with a torn UCL in the Super Bowl. It's near your elbow. Dude's a, dude's a guard. <laughs> dude's, got a, dude's blocking with broken elbows. <laughs> Muko, I like the Chiefs just because of the Chiefs, man. I don't think you have to be from the city to like the team. Is that a hot take? Obviously, it helps. Like, obviously, it helps. I have spent some time in Kansas City, and I do love it. I, I was there for the draft this past year as well, and was there to see if FAU get drafted. Pretty cool. Got to watch Felix and you Duke Azuma. That was awesome. So, not going to lie. But, um, no, I've just liked the Chiefs for, like, past, like, Alex Smith, honestly. Sort of like him, and then I watched him. Kind of just grew from there. Bro, he was so good. People, people, always, people always talk about, oh, we got so many new fans because of Patrick Mahomes. Alex Smith was also good. People just didn't like him as much. Yeah, and freaking, oh, and Alex Smith was great. Well, think about this. The Chiefs had picked 27 with Alex Smith as their quarterback. They traded up to pick 10 to get Patrick Mahomes. 27th is still a pretty good pick because that's how good you were the last year. Bad trade for the Bills. Uh, Packers re-signed Corey Ballantyne. And then the Rams did something that I don't even know what that means. Assigned a second rounder tender for Alaric Jackson. Cool. Javon Kinlaw goes to the Jets, former 49er. Tyrod Taylor, former Giant, goes to the Jets. Funny enough, I don't think Tyrod Taylor's going to have to travel far. Plays in the same stadium. <laughs> 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 Kenneth Murray, two years, $15.5 million. Go back to go to Tennessee. Sam Darnold, man. One year, $10 million. Starter. Starter. Uh, there it is. Levante David, linebacker, stays with the Bucks. Kind of expected that. Levante David stays with the Bucks. The Quan Jones. Three years, $16.5. Aaron Jones, there's the one that I wanted. I wanted the Chiefs to get him. Maybe. Dar yeah, Darius. Darius. I'll give Reed a <laughs> cheeseburger to sign Justin Jefferson. <laughs> I mean, hey, I like it. Is it more likely we end up keeping Sneed, or are we too impatient? I think it's probably more likely to trade him than keep him. But that's just my opinion. I like the Chiefs from Croatia, not from Kansas City. I started watching NFL because of my home, so everything is clear. Yeah, Luca, you don't have to be from Kansas City to like the Chiefs. You'd be a football fan to like Chiefs. I mean, my dad growing up was a Vikings fan when he lived in Mississippi, where he's from, and then when he moved to Dallas in the early to late 90s, or sorry, to the early to late 80s, coming into the 90s, the 1990s, of course, Cowboys were in their Super Bowl dynasty in that time, so he moved here and became a Cowboys fan. I think you can become a fan of anywhere you move to. As long as you're loyal to them. Yeah, stay loyal. Which exactly. is why I got this back-to-back shirt. -back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, let's keep going here. Kaleen? Kaleen? Klein? Cleland Farrell. I was like, I don't know if I know that one. Uh, Matt Hennessy, one-year deal. The Sean Phillips and the Marcus Mariota, the Washington Commanders. Oregon legend. Hey, you ask me, he's the better quarterback in the NFL from Hawaii, not you, Tua. <laughs> Jameis Winston goes to the Browns. How are you going to steal crab legs in Cleveland? <laughs> Dude has been on, like, the coast. Like, he's gone from FSU to then to Tampa Bay to New Orleans, to Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> no food, no nothing. Skyline Chili. <laughs> oh, boy. Mike Gusecki. <laughs> One year, $3.25 million. Joe Mixon, a conditional seventh-round pick to the Bengals. They were going to cut him, so at least they got something out of it, I guess. Shaq Barrett to the Dolphins. One year, $9 million. Naheem Hines to the Browns. One year, 3.5 million. And then Crying emoji, Darnell Mooney, three years, $3.39 million. Big money, Chiefs would have not given that, so. <laughs> and Jeanette White, I lived in Atlanta for nine years. Could not be a fan of the Falcons. <laughs> I love my Chiefs. And it, we'll like it. We'll like it, man. We like it. Is it bad I wanted to make a trade for Jerry Judy? No, not bad. I wanted Jerry Judy, too. I did. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Is there Boyd a free agent? Yes, Tyler Boyd is a free agent. Uh, Derek Henry goes to the Ravens. Are we surprised? No. You and us. Oh. <laughs> Derek Henry, two years, $60 million deal. Not surprised at all. Uh, $9 million guaranteed. Decent bag for a guy who's 30. Michael Burtman, Irv Smith, obviously the Chiefs signing. And then Lakai Fotu. Malcolm Roach goes to the Broncos. Michael Dunn to the Browns. George Odom, two years. Let's see him to DJ Dallas to the Cardinals. Amik Robinson talked about him on here potentially being an option for the Kansas City Chiefs. He goes to the Lions. Two years, 9.25 million. Like the deal there for the Lions. They needed us. They needed some secondary work. Bang. Patrick Queen, three years, 41 million dollars. Correct. Hakeem Adajin. I have no clue. I don't know. Drew Locke, one year, five million dollars. Uh, love Drew Locke. Gotta be honest, love him. Uh, I love the Braves, but I'm not from them at all. There you go. Hashtag Chiefs, would you like them to sign Marquise Brown? I would like them to sign Marquise Brown. Let's go. We're going to have a mailbag here coming up. Let's kind of run through these last little bit here. We're kind of getting to the end here with our signings. Shelby Harris, Dion Bush, coming back to the Chiefs. Uh, Rigoberto Sanchez. No. Gerald Everett, two years, $12 million to the... I like that move, kind of. Do they still have Cole Komet? You have Cole Komet and Gerald Everett, and you're going to have Caleb Williams, DJ Moore, and Marvin Harrison or, or Romo Dunze or DJ Dallas. Or not DJ Dallas, um, uh, Dallas Turner. Crazy. Crazy. They, uh, hot take, the Bears are going to be the next Texans. How like the Bear, like the Texans were terrible and they went immediately back up. Same thing here with the Bears. I agree. Dante Fowler Jr. going to the Washington Commanders. Kenny Moore, the second, goes back to the Indianapolis coach. Josh Uche, one year, $3 million to the Patriots. Ashawn Robinson, three years, $22.5 million. And then the latest deal is here. I'm starting to get closer to the past hour. So Keyshawn Mixon stays with the Packers. Little special teams legend. Three years, $18 million. Devontae Parker, former AFC East legend. Because you have the Dolphins and the Patriots. One year, $4.6 million. million. Tyler Ott. I know, crazy. Stays in the East. Stays in the East. Uh, Cardinal signed offensive lineman. Keith is male. One year contract. Dov actually had a report. Oh, it was from somebody else. It was a prairie agent. Nicholas Mora, one year deal with the Buffalo Bills. Then last little bit here, Jordan Elliott, two years, $10 million. Jeremy Chin, one year, $5.1 million. Josie Jewell, three years, $2.275 million. And Brandon Powell, one year with the Minnesota Vikings. Staying home there. Oh! His hair, his hair. Oh man, Jalen Mills is to his hair. New York Giants one year deal here for Jalen Mills. It does. Jace Noob. Okay. Hey Lennon, can you use hashtag Chiefs, my guy? Because I want to I want to put you on screen here. I got to see what this whole. Got to see what your new profile photo is, man. Use hashtag Chiefs and just say new profile photo. I'm gonna put you on. I want I want to see what it is. There you go. All right. Can you throw that up for me, Tex? Yeah. 
Levantine David, recent one. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, one year, $2 million. And then Corey Ballantyne, re-signing with the Green Bay Packers. That's the last one. There we go. Caught up. What about the Rams placing a second-round restructured tender on left tackle? <laughs> He just used hashtag Chiefs. It's Lennon. It's sexy Andy Andrews, aka Lennon Ackerman. He used hashtag Chiefs, but he has a profile photo. He oh man, <laughs> how did you get the mic? Yeah, yeah. That's he's he's had me as Taylor Swift. He's had me as <laughs> catching Kelsey. I like it, Lennon. I like it, man. Andy Reid, give me a cheeseburger, everybody. Next Tuesday, we're going cheeseburgers on live. Every $10 Super Chat, Jace eats a cheeseburger. Mm. I'd walk out of here throwing up. Mm. No. no. I already did that. So, Hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat to get your questions on. We're going to have a live Q&A here uh, in just a moment to kind of round out the show. Um, yeah, I've been live for a while, and honestly, I don't expect the Chiefs to do anything. So. If, if nothing happens, we, we may just call it here. We're happy to keep answering questions, though, for as long as y'all are still happening here. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, the Bears have agreed to terms with the defensive back Jonathan Owens. Tom Pelissero quote tweets Mike Garofalo's tweet saying, a new home for Simone Biles' husband. Because that's his husband. That's her husband. And everybody was talking about how she made him famous. <laughs> Kind of funny. Muko, why does Mike Vrabel have not have a job yet? Don't know, bro. Don't know. Could not tell you. He's a great coach. Kind of surprised that he was uh, cut or fired. So we'll get your questions in. Hashtag Chiefs. Last chance to get them in here before we go into our mailbag. So, yeah, you're good. Take your time. Yeah. Honestly, if you want, let this be a long mailbag. Like 15 minutes. Yeah. That'll be long. Hashtag Chiefs, and we can keep it going here. I swear if he goes to the Raiders, I'm going to be nervous next season. Who? Oh, Mike Vrabel? Yeah. I mean, the, the, who are the, the Raiders signed Antonio Pierce, though, for a little bit, so. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I know. Uh, yes. Dov post about the Bears signing Jonathan Owens, and the picture he has of him is Simone Biles and him at a Bulls game. <laughs> Or at, or at, what, a, 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 I think it's a Rockets game, actually. Yeah. Gymnast. Gotta be. <laughs> Hashtag cheese, we hit a quad, Pete. <laughs> the fact that the, that's even a term we have to think about is, is crazy. If the Chiefs win this year and they're going for a quad, Pete, sounds like a Call of Duty term. <laughs> Nobody's won three. Nobody's won three straight Super Bowls. They've, the Packers won the, the last two like uh, the football championships and then won the first Super Bowl, so they've won three in a row technically, but nobody's won three Super Bowls. Correct. So Chiefs would do that. They'd be the first one to do there. And they win four. They'd be the first one to win four in a row ever. <laughs> oh, man. We can't let the Eagles get Justin Simmons. That'd be funny, Zach. Quad Pete being – the fact that that's the thing – it's just kind of wild. Quad beat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we're going to do this, and we're going to push this out right away because I don't want any of these questions to be wrong by tomorrow morning. <laughs> A little three-cut day for y'all? You mean cheese? <laughs> yes, cheese. Fresh. Shadobe Awuzi. Shadobe Awuzi. That's how I was supposed to say. Nice. Not saying that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We got our live mailbag coming up here. So, um, Ian Rapport, Chicago. No doubt doing a double twisting, double backflip over this one. Why does everybody have to freaking quote about Simone Miles? <laughs> Yeah. 
it's just it's funny because of the way that everybody the way that Jonathan Owens talked about it and the way that Simone Biles talked about it because he was like I'm the prize like I'm also a prize and Simone Biles whoever was like you're dating Simone Biles you are not the prize and then Simone Biles said are we done with this yet like who cares <laughs> Correct. You have a gold medal. <laughs> I'm sure they, given that the way that Simone Biles tweeted about it, I don't think they care. So. Yeah. Plus, Simone Biles is, I think, retired now. I think she's dumb. So. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah. Uh, should we be aiming to get towards ready for Andy and Kelsey retiring in the years? Um, No, I don't think you can prepare for that. If it happens, it happens. Can't really. I'm not gonna prepare for the best tight end and the best coach of all time to retire. Makes no sense. How's Er Smith going to fit in? He is going to fit in just fine. Be a blocking tight end, potentially be a receiving tight end as well. Who would you take as backup QB since Drew Locke is no longer available? I don't know, man. I want a Jameis Winston. I re-sign Blaine Gabbert. <laughs> Draft Jordan Travis. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, he'd he'd be second. Uh, oh yeah, well that's that, that, that they they said him, correct. Well, I'm glad that they put the, like Florida State was going to lose anyway, even if he was there. But still, all right, live mailbag. Let's get it going here, Tex. Let's go. Chiefs Kingdom free agency is still on the loose. And I want to answer some of your questions because I know there's a lot of speculation going on about what the heck the Chiefs are doing and how exactly is everything going to work with the Irv Smith signing, Deion Bush coming back. What's next? What is Brett Feach going to do? Well, today we answer the most asked questions from behind that. Let's first start with KC Kingdom saying, what NFL free agent do you think the Kansas City Chiefs should sign next? Has to be a wide receiver. Now, there's a couple different options. you got Calvin Ridley, who's still available at the moment. You have the potential to go out and sign Marquise Brown or Curtis Samuel. I know Darnell Mooney was talked about, but then he signed with the Atlanta Falcons. So unfortunately, there goes that. I have to think you got to look at Curtis Samuel. I think he's the best option in a lot of facets. But don't round out Tyron Smith or Justin Simmons. Both those guys could really fit in with Kansas City. And I think Tyron, as a left tackle, makes the Chiefs' offensive line the best in the NFL. You're talking about Tyron Smith, Creed Humphrey at center. You've got Trey Smith on the right side. you got Joe Tooney on the left side. And then you have Jawan Taylor, who, besides penalty, was great last year. That offensive line is insanely good, protecting the best quarterback in the NFL. Right there alone, I think, is great. You can also look at a couple of different guys in terms of quarterbacks. Uh, I know Kendall Fuller is still available, so I wouldn't mind if the Chiefs go out and get him to replace LeJarrius Steed. I know that they think they're going to trade him at this point. So we'll have to wait and see. But there's still a bunch of guys that I think that the Chiefs could go after. Luca saying, would you like the Chiefs to sign Marquise Brown? I would love it. Speedster, played with the, uh, the Ravens, went to the Cardinals. Here's my thing, though. If you sign Marquise Brown, then in the draft, you need to try and go after an A.D. Mitchell, a Troy Franklin, a Keon Coleman, a Devontez Walker. You're not going to go after a Xavier Worthy, a Brandon Rice, a Speedster. Because you have that. You have a speedster in Marquise Brown. You have Rasheed Rice, who is somewhat of that realm, but he's kind of the mid-level guy, more or less compared to Curtis Samuel. of Gadget type can do a bunch of different things. Uh, so I think if you sign Marquise Brown, you don't get Xavier Worthy. You're trying to go for A.D. Mitchell, which I've heard his draft stock has risen in some facets, but other people say he's not going to be going in the first round. Lots of things to think about, but that's exactly why free agency is before the draft, because you figure out your needs through that, and then you can decide, okay, how are we going to draft as well for this season? Hit that subscribe button because we got some amazing coverage coming out here on the Kansas City Chiefs report. And well, whether they sign somebody or they trade for T. Higgins, whatever happens, guess what? We'll have you covered. So hit that subscribe button because we have you all covered all year long. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. Promise you, you're not going to find some better Chiefs coverage than right here on the Chiefs report. <sighs> Sexy Andy Andrews, a.k.a. Lennon Ackerman. Love the profile photo, bro. Love the profile photo. 
if we hit a quad beat, would we be the most successful team in NFL history? First of all, quad beat sounds like a Call of Duty term. The fact that we're even having that as a discussion is amazing. Second of all, no team has ever done that. Technically, I believe that the Packers won the last two uh, football championships. I think it was AFL championships or whatever, and then won the first Super Bowl. Well, that's three in a row, technically. No one has ever won three Super Bowls in a row, though. No three Super Bowls in a row. Chiefs were the first one to do that. A quad Pete. Can't say I'm saying that. I can't believe it, but still, the fact is, if they did that, they would for sure immediately be one of the most successful franchises in the NFL. I think they already are one of the most successful ones. If they do that, they'll have the most successful stretch in ever. Literally ever. K-Man and Sadie. Well, the picture. Well, the dog. Gold Retriever? Chiefs need Daniel Hunter. I don't know if they need Daniel Hunter. I would certainly like Daniel Hunter. But you also have to think about, guess what? You have George Karloftis. You drafted Felix and Duque Ozoma. You have Charles Omenihu, although he will be hurt. All you need is somebody through depth. Get somebody that's cheap over the next couple days of a co for the first couple games. A minute he'll be back. You'll be fine there. I think that's what they should do. No reason to go sign Daniel Hunter. That just seems like way too much money to spend on somebody that's ultimately not going to be what you expect them to be. Unless you're going to trade Carl Office or trade away FAU, which uh, I don't think you should do. Not Brett Veach. What's your confidence level in Brett Veach as the Chiefs general manager? Listen, people have been in my comments. People have been in my Twitter mentions. People have been in my Instagram comments saying, Brett Veach is a bad general manager. He's not making any moves in free agency. Have you been a Chiefs fan for the past five years? They don't do anything in free agency, but they win. It doesn't matter. Who cares? You were just back to back. You just won back to back Super Bowl champions. Who cares if they don't sign anybody? It don't matter. Like, I trust Brett Veach so much with this team. I know he's got it good. I know he'll get it done. And I know that he will, in fact, figure out this team in the best way possible. So, yeah, I trust him as our general manager, and I think he's going to make sure that he's going to get the best signings that he can get for the right price. He looks at signings not just from a now perspective, but from a how good are you going to be over the next couple of years? And are you going to be worth it? Irv Smith, for instance, signing that's not going to pop out of the boards, but guess what? It's a good thing to put on your roster, and I like what I've seen from him. So that's just my opinion, though. I don't know what else you want to say there. Stephen Angels, hashtag Chiefs, would you still like to see T if possible? 100%. We've talked about it on our live shows. And uh, by the way, if you didn't join us, we're live at 3 p.m. ish every single Tuesday. So make sure you join us. T. Higgins is an amazing wide receiver. I would love to see him in Kansas City. The trade, though, is where it kind of sits where we don't know what's going to happen. As of right now, the Bengals did offer T. Higgins and supposedly two first-round picks to the Vikings for Justin Jefferson. Vikings turned that down. They're intent on re-signing him. I can't wait until next year when he doesn't re-sign with the Vikings and they got nothing. That'll be funny. The freaking Bengals out here, by the way, trying to get the 2019 LSU team together. Watch them side to Clyde Edwards Alaire now. Anyways, besides the point, I would love T. I think the trade would potentially be a lot of different ways, but there's also a bunch of people still left in free agency. So, what do you want the Chiefs to sign? There's still a bunch of people left. Curtis Samuel, Marquise Brown, a couple of guys that I could see the Chiefs really making a push for late. So, let me know down in the comment section, who do you want the Chiefs to sign in NFL free agency that's still left and still going on? Bob Saget, RIP. Should the Chiefs sign Curtis Samuel? I like Curtis Samuel a lot. I think that he would be a perfect fit with the Chiefs. <sighs> There's been exploratory talks between both Curtis Samuel and the Chiefs. They've been in contact. I just don't know, though, whether or not the deal is going to get done. I know that there is talk of it, but it seems as though the Chiefs are low-bowling some of these guys. Because Darnell Mooney had talks with the Chiefs before he signed with the Atlanta Falcons. If they miss out on Marquise Brown, if they miss out on Curtis Samuel, it's okay. Like, they don't need anybody. They're going to get uh, Xavier Worthy and Adonai Mitchell in round one of the NFL draft, or Troy Franklin at worst. And then at that point, you extend, you extend Legereus Sneed. Just the way it happens. So I think that's what they're waiting for. I think that's probably why that the Legereus Sneed trade hasn't happened yet, because they're not confident in signing any of the receivers. So 
couple of ways that I see, could see this going down, but I do love Curtis Samuel. I would hope to see him in a Chiefs uniform next year. Tony Fuentes saying, I want Casey to re-sign Jarek McKinnon and bring him back. I love Jarek. I want him to be a part of the Chiefs organization for the next couple of years. The problem is, it's what Brett Veach wants. Because Jarek McKinnon is older, but Clyde Edwards-Alaire is not as proven. He's younger and really didn't play all that well this past year, to be quite honest with you. There was talks of trading him even before the 2023 season. And now you're thinking, okay, well, are you going to keep McKinnon? Are you going to keep CEH? Are you going to trade both of them? What in the world are you going to do? Honestly, could not tell you what's going to happen. But it's just wild because you think about a lot of things that the Chiefs are having to think about. And nobody's really talked about running back because right now they only have one running back on the roster. That's Isaiah Pacheco. Technically, they have, uh, I believe it's the Michael Pirine. So if you're going to the year next year with Samaj, or excuse me, Michael Pirine and Isaiah Pacheco, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I do think they could draft a running back later in the draft. Dylan Johnson, Jace McClellan, pretty good ideas. So we'll have to see. All right. Make sure you hit that sub button, guys, because we're putting out content. And honestly, I don't think you're going to find better content. This will be our second day in a row with three videos. Who else is doing that? Nobody. Nobody. Hit that subscribe button because we have an amazing staff here at Chat Sports. We're putting out great content. I got producer text flying through graphics. We got amazing stuff going on. So hit that subscribe button because I promise you, you're not going to find it better than right here. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV or scroll down, little red subscribe button. Click that. Bill Chase saying, hey, Chase, I think that the Chiefs should make a trade with the Jets and draft Joe Alt Jr. because his dad played for the Chiefs back in the day. What do you think about that? I would love him to draft Joe Alt. I think that would be amazing to have a generational talent come in a second generation. One problem, though. Joe Alt is being talked about as a top five pick. I think at worst he goes seven to the Titans because they really need an offensive line. However, the Chiefs don't have the necessary means to trade for that. That would cost more than I think they're willing to give up. And on top of which... Their offensive line is all really, really good. Yes, Joe Walt is a generational talent, but I don't think it's worth it. You already have bigger issues like your left tackle position. You have Wanya Morris, go sign Donovan, or excuse me, um, Tyron Smith. It's just the way it goes. And uh, re you could re-sign Donovan Smith as well. As much as I would love to have generational talent come back in again, it's just not worth the price. I hate it. That's not. Demon Angels with our next question saying, Hashtag Chiefs. I see either Marquise Brown, Curtis Samuel, or Calvin Ridley. I love that. I think that all three of these guys could potentially be with the Kansas City Chiefs. I would think that they would be awesome additions. And I would love to see them all play with the Chiefs. But I think they're going to get one. Hopefully. Uh, I don't think Calvin Ridley is the one that you're going to get, though. Seems like he either wants to stay with the Jaguars or go to the New England Patriots. That's what he seems like he'll fit. Brown and Samuel, though, great options. I want them. We'll just have to see if that happens. Ronnie Coleman, what or who is the biggest missed NFL free agent signing by Kansas City? It's got to be Darnell Mooney. It's got to be. I think he was the wide receiver everybody in Kansas City wanted. I think the Chiefs tried to offer him, but it was maybe a low ball effort, which unfortunately it's what the Chiefs can do, which is fine. I mean, when you're talking your back to back Super Bowl champions, you can low ball people. Like, hey, I know that we're not, pay we're not paying you probably exactly what you want. But you get to come be a part of a team that will most likely be in the Super Bowl next year. A couple of different ways to kind of look at that as a player. Yeah, you can go make some more money, but are you really going to use all that when there's other stuff going on? Or are you going to tell your grandkids, hey, yeah, I want a Super Bowl? Just what I'm going to say, man. Just the way it looks out. You're not going to tell your grandkids that I was the one who signed this big contract. You're going to tell them, hey, I want a Super Bowl. That's what I would say. Demon Angels saying, hashtag Chiefs, who would you take as a backup QB since Drew Locke is no longer available? I don't know, man. I was going to be Jameis Winston, but he's with the Browns. I, I just really don't know. I think at this point, it's probably got to be re-signing Blaine Gabbert or maybe drafting a Jordan Travis, somebody late in the, dra late in the draft. I think Blaine Gabbert re-signing is probably a lock, though. That's just my opinion. I don't know what's going to happen, uh, but, man, I, I kind of wanted Drew Locke. I kind of wanted Jameis Winston. Didn't get either. That's the way it goes. Lewis saying, will they release so many of you? No. Uh, we talked about that, but I think it was one of those situations of releasing a minute would hurt you, not just because you'd hurt your like 
I guess, reputation, but it make it to where nobody wants to join you because that's basically saying if you get injured in your final year, we're going to cut you because we want to save money. No, a minute he'll be back mid-season. He's already said that he's going to be back sooner than expected. He's going to be ready for the Super Bowl push. He was great in the Super Bowl push this year. He missed the first six games of last year. It'll be fine. I understand that obviously it would save money. I thought about it at one time thinking it would be good, but it's just not worth the hassle of being that team to cut somebody when he was hurt. Mark D with our last question of the day saying, does tight end Irv Smith Jr. improve the Chiefs tight end room? And if so, how? He does. It makes them more valuable in multiple different ways. One, because he is a pretty good receiving tight end. Look at that catch. Look at that. One-handed. He didn't have that great of stats last year, but hey, it doesn't matter because ultimately you're not expecting him to be a starter. And before he tore his meniscus in 2020, he was putting on a show in 13 games. 30 receptions, 365 yards, five touchdowns. Ah, uh, guess what? It's around the number Travis Kelsey had this year in 17 games. So pretty dang good. So I think Irv Smith is a really, really good addition for this Kansas City Chiefs squad. I think people are underrating the value of this signing, and I like it a lot. I think he could potentially be an underrated signing for Brett Beach once again. We talked about the underrated signings last year. Drew Tranquil, guess what? He got a three-year deal with the Chiefs this year. You talk about maybe even Mike Edwards was great in the secondary this year. He made some moves that worked out. I trust Brett Beach. I think this is a good signing. It's just about waiting to see how good of a signing it actually was. Hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already because more subscribers, more videos get to put out. Third video of the day, guys. Third video of the day. We're putting in the work here at the Chiefs Sport, and we hope you enjoy it. YouTube.com slash at Chiefs slash Chiefs TV. We appreciate you as always, Chiefs Gaming. But for now, that's all we got. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Thanks, guys. All right, well, let's get some updates. See if we've got anything going on here. Defensive tackle Raquan Davis, two years, $14 million with the Colts. Pretty good. Mm, that was nice. Uh, I think we're about ready to get off here, though, guys, because I'm going to post that video for y'all. Starting to kind of fall down, getting a little later in the day. Obviously, deals are starting to become a little fewer, a little thinner, a little lesser. So, unless I've got many questions left, we will kind of head on here. What? When do the Chiefs look for a Kelsey replacement? Next year. Next year. He'll be 35. That's when you look for it. That's when you look for it. So we'll have to wait and see. But I, I definitely think next year. Next year is the year where you start thinking Kelsey replacement. Right there. I mean, I thought about it this year because the tight end class was good. But I think you can wait. You can wait. So it sounds like he's going to be in the league for the next four years. From what he said. Even though he's 35. Yeah, he'll be like 39, 40 when he retires. Which is... <laughs> All right, that's a problem. Well, if Noah Gray's 24, he may retire. I'm just like, all right. So, do you think the Chiefs need to look for Reed's replacement? No. No, I don't think so. Would you trade for blank? Who for who? Would you trade for if you could get now with the, any money that Chiefs have? Demon, I see your question, but who, who's, who are we trading for? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Do you think the Chiefs could look for Reed's replacement? No. Appreciate you, Tony, being subbed for that long. Demon, we'll answer your question, and we'll get out of here. Um, it does have hashtag Chiefs, but it doesn't have the name. It just says hashtag Chiefs. Who would you trade for if you could right now with the amount of money? So, I don't know. It's fine. Where do you think Fields will go? Nowhere. He'll be a, he's going to back up Caleb Williams. <laughs> uh, anybody that you would like to sign that we can sign with the money they have now? Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel or Tyra Smith. Uh, when do the Chiefs look for a CJ replacement? Five years from now, when he's not in a contract, probably. <laughs> four years from now, maybe, because you only have one year deal, one year left on his deal. So. Yeah, four Super Bowls from now. When it's uh, what, uh, uh, a seven Pete, yeah, <laughs> a quad Pete's wild. <sighs> Cespi, I don't know. Cespian, a Homo sapien Pete. <laughs> If they bench fields, that's such a bad idea. Correct, but the freaking uh, the market for fields is dry as the Sahara Desert. It's dry as my mouth right now. I need a freaking drink. All right, well. <laughs>
Nicht. Savior worthy. All right. Well, we're going to head out of here, guys. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. It's been a good time. Two hour stream. Uh, people, people, people were hanging out, too. It's a good time. It was a good fun time. So appreciate y'all watching. We're going to post that mailbag live here literally in moments. So if you had some questions, me and Tech's going to be working frivolously to get this out, typing on our keyboards. Probably just stay in here and do it. So anyways, uh, we will have that out for you momentarily. But for now, Chiefs Kingdom, we appreciate you. This is a fun stream, and uh, we'll see you later. So peace out.